It's February in the Hudson Valley, but it's a warm day, which means I can paint outdoors with water media. I'll be using casein paint for this little five by eight inch painting. And what fascinates me about this is this tree that's mired in the icy uh, pond. When they cut down a tree, the top of it was still frozen in the pond. So it's a fun chance to paint the detail of the branches along with the shadows cast by the setting sun. I'm using a variety of casein colors, including white, yellow ochre, light red, cerulean blue, ultramarine blue, and then I'll put some black on there too. Those colors will give me pretty much everything I need for this scene. I'm painting the big areas of the snow first using a one inch synthetic flat. And the big areas, once they're down, I can paint the smaller details of the branches and the small ground plants uh, later. Once I put those down though, I can't come back in and, and paint the snow. Now this shadow is moving fast as the sun goes down over there. So I'm trying to work out the placement of the shadows early and try to remember them because they're gonna change quickly. And I wanna remember the light effects on the reeds over there. Now in order to get this effect, I'm using a split brush technique. So I load up the brush and then squeeze the, the round synthetic brush in my fingers to get that split effect. And that allows me to, to paint some of these fairly delicate ground plants. Now one of the things that you have to do with a brush and this dry brush technique is to try to suggest a lot of detail rather than trying to paint each little detail, each little branch and stem. Not only is there not enough time, but it would look way too picky if you were to do it that way. Now as we're finishing up here, you can see that I'm going in and refining areas, trying to match what I, I can, and to remember what I saw earlier, the way the light was passing over the snowbank on the right, and the way it looked on the far reeds. Okay, thanks for watching. You might want to check out my website or subscribe to my channel. And then here's a playlist with more good stuff and a video that continues the story. So check them out and share with your friends.